Hi, Bill Shields with Interstates. Today I want to talk to you about system grounding. There's basically two types of system grounding you use on substations that are power systems. The first one is solidly grounded. It's um, the most diverse type of power system used in most power systems. And it's a three-phase, four-wire distributed system. The benefit to it is that it can supply three-phase loads, line-to-line -line loads, and line-to-neutral loads. The downside to it is it delivers a very high level of line-to-ground fault current. Therefore, according to the National Electrical Code, you have to provide ground fault protection on large feeders. The other downside is that even branch circuits can cause a very large feeder to trip in a ground fault condition. It makes it very difficult to troubleshoot, and it also can create a very a lot of disturbance in your power system causing reliability issues. Another type of power system used or system grounding used is high resistance grounding. This is typically used in you know 480 volt industrial power systems and 2.4 kV industrial power systems used for large motors. Now this is different because it can only supply three phase, it's a three phase three wire distributed system and can only supply line to line and, th and, and three phase loads. It cannot supply line to neutral loads in order to get a line to neutral load supplied, you have to install a, another transformer and create a neutral. And those are typically much smaller transformers for like lighting. It is a highly reliable system because it limits ground fault current during ground fault conditions to five amps. The IEEE Gold Book recognizes that 98% of all system faults originate as a line to ground fault condition. So the benefit of a high resistance grounded system is you're controlling that energy in 98% of your faults to, to a maximum of 5 amps. That has a huge impact on reliability as well as safety. You're not doing any significant destruction and obviously you're limiting flash hazard and, and ground fault current. Um, when those ground faults do occur, you alarm, you don't shut down, your electrical workforce can react to those alarms, take appropriate action and find the problem and obviously correct it. So if you're thinking about maybe installing a new substation or changing your design philosophy, I strongly encourage you to think about leveraging high resistance grounding in your power system. Thanks for your time.